me, Pickin' for Profit, coming to you with another video. Today's video is a haul video. Um, it is Sunday, so everything I purchased and am showing today was purchased from Berea Flea Market, my local flea market. Um, I got some really good stuff, only spent about $60, $65, and I'm excited to show. So let's get to it. This first item I'm showing you, I purchased uh, to hang up like this. Kind of looks like a mantle, maybe a little shelf of some sort. Um, but it is a cash register drawer. It's all wood, has the cool lock. Really interesting. I paid six bucks for this. Um, not sure what I can sell it for. I'm hoping around 15 to 20 bucks at my booth. So not a huge money maker, but it's interesting. And I bought it from someone that I've made lots of money from uh, on the items that I purchased before. So I'm just keeping that relationship strong. Very important. This next item I purchased from uh, someone I purchased a lot of stuff from as well. Uh, it is a pin. I believe this is 800 silver. It's not marked. Um, but I did ask someone at the flea market. She knows a lot about jewelry, sells a lot of jewelry. She believes it's 800 silver too, just because of the design and how it's made. Very common for this uh, design. It is a guitar, which is really cool, really ornate. Not sure if you can see all the detail in it, but really cool piece. I paid five bucks for this, and I also got a other little piece of sterling tossed in um, that I'm gonna use to fix another piece. So for five bucks, I believe I can get this uh, sold on eBay for $14.99 or maybe even upwards of $19.99. One of the favorite things I bought today was this tripod. It's extendable. It's got a really interesting shape. Never purchased one like this before. It is made from the AGFA company, A-G-F-A. They make a lot of cameras and camera equipment back in the day. Really cool. It extends to about four and a half, five feet. Um, made in the USA. Doesn't have a date on it but I believe it's probably from, I don't know, the 40s or the 50s. Uh, really cool, it's got all the little feet on it. Interesting piece. Not sure if I'll resell this just as a tripod or if I'll save it, repurpose it, and make one of my camera lights with it. But for five, or er, I actually paid two bucks for this. So for two bucks, I'm really excited. Another cool item or items that I found were these, well, were these shirt, t-shirts in a can. I've seen similar ones on eBay sell for 30 bucks. There's only one on there right now. They're wanting $10 on, it's an auction. The person selling it doesn't seem like he sells that much. So I'm hoping with my store, I can put these on for $19.99. Um, maybe $24.99 is where I'll start. I have a Rough Country, which is a big, like a monster truck. And then a second Rough Country. And the one that dropped is a drag racing, like an exhaust for an exhaust company. Really cool find. Um, I purchased all three for five dollars. So if I can get twenty bucks a piece, turning five into sixty, uh, possibly seventy-five, really good deal. From the same person I bought those T-shirts from, I also got uh, ten vintage Hot Wheels. These Hot Wheels are from the seventies and eighties. They're in terrible condition, but after looking up each and every one of them. Uh, they still seem to bring anywhere from five on up. So what I'm gonna do is just lot them together, put them in a lot for 25 bucks. Hopefully they sell. If they don't, maybe I'll try uh, taking them to the flea market and piecing them out for just a couple bucks a piece. But I did find this really cool pink one. Years ago, someone told me if you find a pink Hot Wheels, make sure to grab it because they're rare. Uh, this is a Ferrari 308. So I might try to sell this one individually or maybe being in the lot, it'll entice uh, maybe a bidding war or someone to pop on it if I do it buy it now. Really cool. Another really cool one was this Volkswagen van. Um, unfortunately it's missing the top but it does have a motorcycle on the back. Really cool, really interesting. Um, I'm not a huge toy guy but I purchased all these um, plus. I purchased two more items from that same seller. One of those being this lamp. Really cool design. Brass. Um, fitting, brass knob, everything else is completely rusted. I personally like this look and I know a lot of people do too, so I'm not going to repaint it. What I might do is just clear coat it there so it doesn't get uh, everything dirty and no one can complain that it's too dirty. So I'll probably spray a clear coat on it, sell this in my booth for 20 to 25 bucks. I purchased that lamp and this washboard as a pair. I paid 15 for the pair. Um, 
Keep your eye out for these washboards. You'll see the metal ones a lot, which if you can get for five bucks, I usually sell mine for uh, between 10 and 15. The glass ones, if they have good graphics, which this one's really nice on both sides. Red is always um, more sought after, not sure why, but I think it's just uh, highly collected. So there's no cracks. The glass is even marked national. Um, really cool piece. I believe at my booth I can get this uh, sold for 20 to 25 bucks. So turning 15 in, into about 50 or 60, really good deal for me. And the last item that I purchased today was this vintage, probably between the 30s and the 40s floor ashtray. It's complete. It's cool because you can set your coffee here, your cigarettes, whatever uh, your choice of smoke or habit may be. Um, and it's also got this really amazing, I believe it's brass, yeah, a brass ram kind of jumping across for a handle. At first I thought it was a greyhound, I was super excited, I love collecting greyhound memorabilia, but uh, the ram is really cool too. I tried doing some research on this on eBay, um, couldn't find anything complete like this. I did find the handle which sold for $10, I paid 5 for the whole unit. I'm hoping to get a uh, roughly, I don't know, hopefully 40 at my flea market uh, that's coming up at the end of November down in Columbus, Ohio. Um, if I clean this up a little, possibly repaint the bottom, repaint this, keep it exactly how it looks, but repaint it. I might get a little more, but honestly, I'll probably just clean it up, leave it as it is, and hopefully sell it between 35 and 40 bucks. Interesting little story, the, the guy I purchased the ashtray from um, was like, hey, I seen you this morning, on, uh, or I seen you last night on YouTube. You, uh, I was looking up Berea Flea Market and I found your video. Really cool videos, thanks for making the videos. Really nice guy. Um, that kind of enticed me to look at his stuff a little more. Maybe he was just playing me. But um, I did find the ashtray for $5, which I feel like is a really good score for me. Um, it was really cool meeting someone that uh, views my channel. I love when people come up and say that uh, they watch my channel, they learn from it, they think it's really cool. Um, that's why I make these videos, is to reach out, help as many people as possible. Just I love being in that community of resellers uh, with people like-minded people like myself. So make sure if you're still watching this video that you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It entices me to make better videos in the future. And peace out.